Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Photoshop tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will be sharing with you how to make a coffee bag, pouch bag mock-up in Photoshop. So let's start with it. So for that, we will be requiring this pouch bag mock-up, which I have downloaded from graphicgoogle.com. I will be sharing the link on the description. And I have made this custom made logo here, which I will be using in this mockup and i have downloaded two images one is for this coffee wins as you can see and another is this fake barcode which we i will be using for this mockup and i will be using all of them here and uh, if you want i will put all the links in the description so let's start with it so as you can see here this many layers are there so as you can see this is the place front of half layer next is the place font artwork next is the place side artwork so so let's start with the place front artwork which is this part so let's start with it so we will select this black color as a new layer so that we can properly put all the layers and check if it looks good or not so we'll use paint bucket tool and place it beneath and click on the artwork and let's start with it so we will write the all the writings here we'll write fresh coffee seeds as you can see it is not visible here so we will click on Ctrl A and I have selected a golden color for it so that it becomes visible and it looks quite good with the mock-up. The code is 226.1740 or you can use this code here E2AE00 and use it for yourself and I can see it is placed here I have already made a lining here so that I can check the length of the letters and after that I will be putting this coffee seeds layer here we have to bring it closer to it and let's do it We we'll make it a bit bigger so that it go looks good with the design. Now it is looking good. So we'll place it and after that we'll make it a bit lower so that we may can make a design part here. So we will select here this rectangle tool and just drag a design here. And the color will be the same as the writing's color, which will be E2AE00. Or you can easily use that 226.1740. Anyway, you can do it. So it is done here, and we'll make four copies of it. And the copy shortcut layer will be Ctrl J. We have made four copies and we'll just move it one by one. So for moving the shortcut with V. When moving, just check if they are equidistant or not. If they are not equidistant, it will be a problem for you. So when done and it looks equidistant just click the upper layer of the layers here and select the bottom layer and click on merge layers you are done now here untick the writing part here and just select elliptical monkey tool so to make it a proper circle just hold shift here and make it a circle here 
and you as you can see a proper circle is made here and after that press on delete and after that click on this artwork here and as you can see it looks good for me and after that hold the two layers this design part and this writing part and just control T make it a bit big here so that it blends quite well with our design now delete this layer which I have just used for checking if everything goes well or not click on file click on save and just delete it so when we move to the mockup here you can see the design is quite well placed here just a simple problem it looks the side is not equidistant here so we have to move it a in a left a bit So we will hold on this and click on V and we will move it and click on save again and just check. Now it looks equidistant here and just close it and after that let us come to the top half here. Or top half we will be requiring the logo part to may place the logo part we will just click a rectangle tool and just make it a square by holding shift here make it a bit big and the color would be the same as the writings color it will be e to a e double zero so it's done here bring it to center make it a bit big by holding control t and after that place the selection here make it a bit big and click on save and as you can see our logo is placed here and now we have to work on the side part to work on the side part we have to click the side layer and we want to create a gradient layer here so that it looks good not the just the black layer here as you can see the side is also black but we want to use a proper gradient layer so that it looks better for us so we will click a gradient layer and for choosing a gradient layer just say it here gradient tool and after that click this layer and we have selected some colors for it it will be 255 1440 which I have pre-selected so as you can see here it's already there and all in the right side we have selected 255 2015 so it's already there so click ok and holding shift just draw the line from top to bottom and as you can see a gradient is created and now we will put this barcode fave barcode here so for putting this we have to select this to white click the rectangle tool and put it beneath somewhere like this and just move it so that it comes to the bottom and after that bring on the fake barcode and just put it here make it a bit small so that it properly fits and it's looking good and just write something here
and click on control T and just rotate it rotate it to 90 degree and make it a bit small so that it properly fits here you can just increase the size here and also you can just bring the letter to the next layer so that you can increase the size a bit so that also the right hand side is also visible now make it saved and you can see our design this writing is not coming so i have to make a be small so that it comes in the half so we have to move to this layer we have to make it a bit small so that it properly fits click on save and now we can see it properly fits here so as you can see our design is ready and you can also make the same following this tutorial hope you like this and please subscribe to the channel for more exciting photoshop tutorials and learning videos thank you visit again